Hi, this is Alvin from Dr. Wealth and today we're going to talk about SaaS stocks. It has been very hot in these few years but you know it hasn't been a very good uh, year for SaaS stock uh, in 2022 because a lot of the high growth stocks are being bashed down due to the rise in interest rate which we'll explain a bit more so we're looking at those SaaS stocks that are profitable which are rare okay but i managed to find a handful so i'm going to share with you the usual disclaimer pause and read it if you need to okay so that's the situation right we talk about rising interest rate and it has punished a lot of fast growing loss making companies because these fast growing companies their value is in the future and with higher interest rate the discounting is going to be more than before and that's why the present day value has gone down and to reflect their new fundamental value the share price have been fallen a lot so some set stocks have even fallen like 70 percent from their high so that is no small matter and that's why i think at this point in time it is more important to look at those set stocks that are profitable and um, of course they must maintain their their fast growth rate because if the growth rate slows down then um, uh, it is no longer about the uh, uh, high potential of their value in the future so these two must come together first it must be fast growing which i define as more than 30 percent revenue growth and then second it must be profitable so i managed to find five of them i believe there are more but these five should give you some ideas on what i'm talking about and maybe some of these ideas may interest you as a uh, investment opportunities so let's go with go with the first one which is intuit this is um, quite a established company it is not a very young company it's been around for decades and uh, you might even use its software if you run a business like quickbooks or you have like personal finance uh, matters you might keep those details in mint or you have been using email software like mailchimp personally i've used mailchimp before so uh, mailchimp is like the latest acquisition that intuit uh, has acquired and it's good for them because uh, with mailchimp their revenue growth rate has gone up above 35 percent otherwise it was below tw uh, 30 percent i think it's about 29 percent or so so that has been a good acquisition and it has added meaningfully to the revenue of intuit and it has a net profit margin of 32 percent pretty healthy right a third of the revenue ends up as net profit and the earnings has grown about 18 percent from a year ago so that's based on the 3q 2022 results the next company is called tyler technologies you might be less familiar with this company because uh, they mainly deal with uh, u.s government or those uh, uh, municipal uh, cities uh, management right so they, they are not really b2c companies you don't really use it and this is a very old company as well it's been around since 1966 uh, uh, but that that shows the longevity and the relevancy of their business and recently they have uh, uh, in recent years they have moved to the cloud as well because that is the direction of how software has been run in today's world so they make the transition and it's continue to stay relevant and important to the government so let's look at the uh, latest result which is first q2022 uh, revenue has grown 55 percent right not bad for a uh, you know 50 or 60 year old company and profit margin is not as good as intuit is at nine percent right still decent and earnings has grown about eight percent right so these are the numbers this is the second fast growing um SaaS company that is profitable let's look at the third one this is doximity right based on their 4q 2022 results the revenue has grown 40 percent net profit margin is very healthy at 39 percent and the earnings were even growing faster at 71 percent so the numbers look very fantastic and doximity what do they do so they are like uh, initially when they first started they were like a linkedin for healthcare professionals in the u.s so they come in and, and network with other professionals maybe gain some industry knowledge and practical knowledge from there right but then they have extended to telehealth business that allow them to connect the medical professionals to the patients and you know it's almost like teledoc okay so it has been good uh, business for them and they are profitable now which is unlike teledoc is <laughs> still running a loss so it's quite uh, phenomenal that they managed to pull this off and then um, the next one will be zoom info right this is a um, business intelligence and information company so they sell this information to the uh, sales marketing and recruiting professionals and um, they've been doing well right revenue has grown 58 percent net profit margin about three percent and compared to a year ago they were still making losses right so they have turned profitable in this year which is a good sign that if they continue this profitability they may 
be able to be a self-sustainable business and margins should increase as time goes by right so that is zoom info that is the fourth one that we have and lastly the fifth which is data dog and the first q 2022 results have shown uh, still very strong growth right 83 percent growth in the revenue from a year ago net profit margin is three percent and it is a similar situation with zoom info because last year their earnings per share in that quarter was still a loss and that's why um, initially when they just turned profitable the margin is not going to be looking good but given enough time with the profitability improving the margin should increase because a lot of all these SaaS company um, their margin should be very good once the ski economies of skill kicks in right? because they develop the software uh, uh, yes there's R&D costs even ongoing costs but it should be manageable it's pretty much fixed after a certain point and any additional revenue can improve the profit margin of these companies so what is Datadog? it is a cloud infrastructure monitoring service it is quite a uh, mouthful okay but uh, uh, those who are doing DevOps uh, engineers engineering work then you should be able to understand what this is okay so let's look at the valuation right so i would use this valuation comparing the ev next 12 months revenue compared to the growth uh, revenue growth rate so the y-axis is the ev next 12 months revenue okay or enterprise value right so that is a valuation metric and of course the lower the cheaper it is okay this is cheapest and this is the most expensive that's how you read the scale and then on the horizontal axis this is a uh, low growth or uh, and then this is the highest okay i would say low because these are already the the fastest growing they are like uh, at least 30 percent revenue growth and above okay but relatively right so on this scale it's lowest on the left side and then highest on the right side and this line is the regression line okay, this is a regression line because after you plot all the companies based on these two metrics this is the regression line that they drawn okay although it's not perfect but we can just roughly use this to identify which companies are cheaper and which company are more expensive with regards to their growth rate all right so that's how we use it and you can see that um, uh, which means that those below this line are considered cheap for their revenue growth and those that are above this line are considered expensive for their revenue growth right? of course we haven't really considered the other qualitative analysis aspect but we're just looking at these numbers at this point in time so i can see intuit is here right i'll just circle for you and this is a uh, tyler and this is data dog and let me see where is uh, doximity is here as well as we are missing one more zoom info okay zi is here so we can see that two of them intuit and tyler are actually below the line right so relatively among the five that we have looked at intuit and tyler are the cheaper ones based on the growth rate they are uh, performing right now okay so as i said this is just comparing these two metrics we have not looked at the other aspect of course their businesses are different the only commonality that tie them all together is that they are, they are a SaaS company right they based on more subscription uh, uh, revenue and these subscription are usually sticky and predictable going forward so that is the common thing that binds them together and that makes the comparison uh, relevant in that aspect only okay so the rest of the businesses sectors they are all different all right so the conclusion is that uh, days of easy money is over and profitability becomes more important and i hope that this uh, uh, video will get you to think about you know maybe it is time to look at those companies that are breaking even or almost breaking even um, yet still maintaining a fast growth rate right so in this climate i do think that that are the the ones that should be watched uh, should be should be investing in right so those are the ones that uh, are likely to survive in this tough period as compared to those that are still losing a lot of money likely any fundraising has to be coming uh, through the pipeline otherwise uh, survivability can be an issue so the five that we're looking at today is intuit tyler doximity zoom info and data doc and i did mention relatively the among the five of them intuit and tyler are the cheaper ones so i hope you like this video you find this useful do remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you will get more videos like this you get more trade ideas that can help you in your investing journey so this is alvin and i'll see you around goodbye